Good morning, my third, fourth, and fifth graders. Once again, Miss Wilson, we are this week. You have quite a few things going on this week. Quite a few things. One of them we're going to be talking about is you're going to be working with lines. And one of the things I want to talk about is abstract. And abstract art is modern art, which does not represent images of the everyday world. It doesn't represent anything. It's just fun with lines. It has color, lines, and shape, or form, but they're not intended to represent objects or living things. Not to look like anything that you would normally see, like a house or, you know, anything outside, like a tree, nothing like that. So what are you going to do this week is you're going to be playing around with lines. And the directions are in the hub, for one thing, but I'm going to show you one of the things you can do with lines is you can have thin lines. You can have thick lines. And once again, there's no rhyme or reason to this. There's no pattern. I could do some shapes if I choose. Okay? But once again, have fun and play around with shapes. Play around with your lines. And play around with the color to come up with a really nice abstract picture. All right, one of the other things we're going to be working on this week, and I know my third, fourth, and fifth graders should remember this, is every year, and I know it's early again, it's the holiday card contest. So I need my entries in before the 23rd of this month because I have to choose one to represent the whole school. So it takes me a while to go through everybody. So you're going to look at doing a holiday gift card on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, which basically is a sheet of paper, normal blank sheet of paper. And you're going to take a picture of it and you're going to send it to me. Now, when we think of the holiday gift card contest, I came up with, let me get it, sorry, just a minute, of a whole bunch of words. And a whole bunch of things that when we think of holiday, we can come up with. We have happy holidays, season greetings. We have bells, snowmen, people, animals, which I would say reindeer, bunny rabbits, things like that. Winter, snow, light, sleigh, a sled, candle, gingerbread man, a gingerbread house, a gingerbread woman, cookies, decoration, presents. A wreath, once again, reindeer, family, stocking, tree, star, bows, ribbon, candy cane, ornaments, all kinds of things that you can use when you are doing your holiday card contest. Make sure you do it nice and bright colors if you can. Think of those holiday colors, reds, greens, silver, gold, all those pretty colors. So. For example, and I'm just using my any color marker because I have green right now. I'm using the two. So I'm going to draw just my, my brown here. Maybe I'm going to do a snowman. And once again, you know, we've got three layers. I'm just doing this really quick to give you an idea. So you could do your holiday gift card. Once again, remember, if you want to be entered into the contest, I need it before the 23rd this month. So please make sure you get it to me if you're very interested in it. And I really want to see all my third, fourth, and fifth graders participating in this and sending me your holiday gift card pitch. Okay? The other thing that you are going to be working on is your self-portrait. Some of you have already done your self-portrait, and that is fine. You don't have to do it again. But if you have not done your self-portrait, you need to do it. Remember, self-portrait is a picture of you drawn by you. So it doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't have to be exactly. You know, do the best that you can. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm looking for those three things coming up. So this week, you have to do your abstract, working on your lines, 
your holiday gift card contest and your self portrait if you have not done that. Those are the things I'm looking for for this week. Once again, I need you to look in the hub and there is some information there. There is a video from YouTube that shows previous winners. So it'll give you some ideas. Please don't copy anybody's idea. Um, but there are ideas that can, you can get from watching that YouTube and looking at those, those cards. And uh, also your self-portrait if you haven't done it. I'd like to see those. I bet you just can do a beautiful job and I'm looking forward to it. So you are going to be busy this week. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all in person shortly. And I hope you all have a good rest of the week. All right, y'all. Have a good day. Bye.